Hello everyone, it is Simtastic for Real here and I am back with another part of the Chens. We are at part number 13. And in the last part we did do a little holiday celebration because it was the week of the holiday and we had a tree and we decorated. And then at the end of the part, I don't know if you guys stay tuned, um, but at the end of the part we had a little bit of a drama situation happen. Um, so Landon had invited over Aaron and his son, Graham, and uh, he did not tell Olivia about it. And she was at her parents celebrating the holiday. And when she came home, she saw Aaron and the baby and she was kind of concerned and they got into a big fight and she left. So she packed up her things, like a few things, um, and she left and she went to her parents. So we are picking up like after a week or two of Olivia being gone, Landon has tried to reach out to her and she is not answering his phone calls. Um, she has spoken to Charlotte and Charlotte is just like, girl, like I totally understand my brother screwed up. Charlotte's not very happy about it. Um, and I don't think really Lydia is very happy about it. I think Lydia would just be like, you know, Landon, you need to tell Olivia what's going on and like you should have told her way before now. Uh, but I think she's just kind of staying out of it and letting her brother handle things. So uh, that is where we are. So they've had a couple of weeks, weeks of school and with all of the stuff that has been happening, Landon has slipped up on his work and I think he is close to being on probation. So if he doesn't do good this term, um, he'll be on probation I think or he is on probation already let's check that out yeah he's on probation so if he doesn't do good um he'll be flanking out of uh college so that's not good either um so things are happening here in the Chen's household uh it is tv premiere um season so uh we're just gonna end that holiday um so let's see. I hope no one gets a negative mood lift from ending that, but that's okay. All right. So Landon needs to eat. Uh, I think he has to go to school pretty soon. Um, no, he's off today. So he has to go to school tomorrow. He's already done his homework. So I am trying to get him uh, back up to being at least a B student. We'll see how that goes this semester. Like I said, he is just having a really hard time uh, juggling everything. He has a son. He's got, you know, situations happening with Olivia. He's just really distraught and um, he's trying not to let it show, but he is very distraught. Also in the last part, if you stay tuned, tuned to the ending, Malcolm and Charlotte are actually engaged. So they are fiancés and that's so exciting. I'm so happy about that. I love them together. Um, I actually, just to put a little bit of a secret, I have been like, uh, thinking about having them in a relationship ever since they were kids. Um, and I just feel like their relationship has just grown so much. I think at the beginning it was just a friendship and Charlotte was always there for him during all of his breakups and everything like that. And then when they got together, I think he realized, oh my gosh, this is what love is. I never knew love before, you know, being in a relationship with Charlotte. And so, yeah, I'm so happy for them. Um, so he ditched the book I think he was supposed to give her or a sweater or something. He ditched that idea and he ended up uh, proposing instead. So yeah, so it's so exciting. So we have a wedding coming up and we have um, kind of a depressed Sim over here, <laughs> although he is a very inspired right now. So he's not super depressed. Uh, but yeah. So we'll see what happens with everything, but I think I really want him to pay attention to little EJ for a little bit um, because he does not have class today. Uh, let's see, maybe ask him to go potty, give him a hug and pet him. Uh, and then maybe she, he can take him on a little bit of a walk. I don't know because it's really glitching out. I really hope that that gets fixed at some point, but they seem to go out, take them for a walk, and then they're out there forever, and you have to manually bring them back. It's really annoying that they don't just come back. So, and with it being really cold, I don't want little EJ or um, Landon getting hurt or, you know, freezing or anything. So that is where we're at. And I really want Charlotte to work on her homework. It looks like she's already working on it. 
Uh, does Malcolm have homework to do? Yes. So Malcolm, why don't you go ahead and do your homework like Charlotte and what is going on with him? What does he need to do? So he needs to take a final exam. Uh, does he have class today? No. Does Charlotte? No. Lydia? No. Okay, so they all have class tomorrow. So they all are on the same schedule, which is going to be super great and super easy to uh, take care of. Uh, and then, yeah. So, okay, so he's already done. Oh, he needs to reach logic level three. Um, so we may do that, actually. I know, uh, oh, we don't have a chess table. Oh, no, we should have put one out here, although it's really cold out. Um, hmm. I don't know where we could put like a chess table just so he can get his logic up. I guess he could get a book. Um, yeah, why don't we just purchase a book? All right, so purchase a book and then purchase in skills and do logic so we can just get his logic up. Uh, I guess number one, he needs to reach level three. Okay, so let's go ahead. Oh, it's in the purchased books section. So open this up, put this in your inventory, and then just read it. So that way there you can hopefully get to level three. Um, and then you can like level up in your soccer uh, situation. So hopefully he, he can become like the next level, whatever that is. Oh, that's not him. Um, it's because he's still a bench warmer. So I kind of want him to run the thing or kind of be a really good player. I don't know. All right. And everyone is dropping their homework and that's so annoying. Uh, all right. So who is missing homework? I think Charlotte's missing homework. Um, and Lydia and that's Malcolm's and Landon's is in his inventory. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, it's going to be really lonely over in this town home because Landon doesn't have Olivia. He only has, um, EJ, although EJ is a really good companion, it's just, you know, I'm sure he's going to miss his girlfriend and wondering how she's doing and that he can't get a hold of her. He has grilled Charlotte a little bit, but she's just keeping tight lip about everything. And she's just like, listen, you need to work things out with Olivia. She just needs some space and some time right now. So just give that to her. And then when she feels like it, she'll come around and she'll, um, contact you. So, uh, yeah. I think Charlotte is giving him a little bit of the cold shoulder. Oh, we did move that. I was like, why is that here? But we did move that so that they could make the uh, grand meal for the uh, dinner party. So, oh, little EJ. Oh, is he stinky? Oh, no. All right. Well, all right. I'll take care of that for you guys. And where is there a bathtub so that... Uh, Lydia can give him a bath. I think she could just give him a bath over here. Give EJ a bath. Can she do that or is the door locked? It might be locked for him. Unlock. So she can just give him a bath, please. All right, you guys. So I got everyone like doing their homework and studying. Malcolm is not. Oh, okay. He is doing his homework. Um, I was going to say he's not cooperating, but actually I'll have him go over here and just study for a little bit. Um, I know he has his uh, eSports tournament coming up soon, so I'll just uh, make sure to end it before hopefully I can remember that because I think it starts at 6. Um, yeah, 6 p.m. I've got Charlotte over here. She's studying. Lydia's downstairs studying. Landon took EJ for a short walk, so hopefully that does not glitch out and they can just come back because it seems like when I do like medium walk or long walk, they're just out there forever and then I actually have to manually get them back at to the house. Uh, so I really want to prevent that from happening. I'm just like helping tidying up. This is just how I normally play. I always like help and tidy up because it just takes too long for them to go around and gather all the dishes. Uh, but yeah, so Charlotte is doing her studying. Lydia's being good and doing his, her studying. And then Malcolm is supposed to do his studying, but he's down at the bathroom. So um, yeah. So I'm just going to have him go to his esports tournament. That should be soon. Uh, Landon should be hopefully coming back pretty soon. Oh, Chelsea's came by. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we're going to have Lydia go out and invite her in so she can just like hang out with her for a little bit. And then, um, Charlotte is just, like I said, hanging out up here. Okay. Here they come. Oh, great. I hope they come back home. Come on. 
Let's come back home, guys. Okay, well, <laughs> that is not working out at all. All right, well, okay. So maybe I'll have Charlotte head out uh, to Pepper's Pub for a little bit. I think she'd probably meet up with Olivia over there and, um, you know, hang out with her for a little bit. Maybe just try to get her into good spirits. Probably uh, Lydia and uh, Chelsea will come as well. Like, oh yeah, I'll be down for like a drink or something. Oh no, she's going. She's like, I should go now. All right, well, bye. Okay, so maybe it'll just be Lydia and Charlotte and Olivia. Um, I think Charlotte would have been like, oh, you know, Lydia, why don't you just come out with us? Stop studying for the night and just come out. So we'll go ahead and we'll head over to Pepper's Pub. All right, you guys, so we are here at Pepper's Pub, and then I think Charlotte will just order a drink for everyone, so she's just gonna order a drink for group. Um, she'll probably get everyone a beer, and they'll probably just hang out over here. Um, yeah, she's like, can I have a round of drinks for all my friends, please? Thank you. Uh, <laughs> oh, she's really dressed up. She's so pretty. Oh my goodness, Olivia's so pretty. Everyone's pretty, anyway. <laughs> I don't want to leave anyone out. It's just not that I'm just saying just Charlotte's pretty. Everyone's pretty in this Let's Play. But anyways, um, we'll go ahead and we'll order the drinks. And then we'll come probably over here and maybe sit all together. Can we sit all together over here? That will be great. And so they can all speak and talk and stuff. Um, I think Olivia just be like, how's Landon doing? And has Aaron been by lately? Um... How's that going? And I think Lydia would just be like, actually, Erin's been by quite often. Um, she's been bringing Graham by, you know, um, just so that Landon and Graham can have some time together and spend some time together. I think Olivia would just be bummed out about that, that, uh, you know, Erin's been coming by quite often. I mean, she gets it. Like, she, she gets that Landon needs to be with his son and, like, get to know his son, but... I think she, oh gosh, Charlotte, you are stinky. Um, well, college life, <laughs> exam life. Uh, yeah, so I think, like I said, oh, EJ, why are you always here at the bar? Oh my gosh. Can you guys go to your activities, please? Oh my God, whatever. Um, anyways, um, oh, she's tired too. Well, Maybe Lydia can also go home. Uh, so she's going to go home. And Char uh, Charlotte and Olivia can just stay here. That's fine. Uh, all right. So, yeah, I think, like I said, I think uh, Olivia would just be a little bit bumped out about it. Sorry, I got really distracted with uh, EJ being here. But, yeah, it's just really sad. Uh, I think that Olivia's been keeping up with her schoolwork back home. Maybe she went home already. Yeah, she's heading home. Can you guys all just sit together, please? Olivia, just come back and sit. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, Olivia's been keeping up with her schoolwork at home. Uh, I guess a lot of her professors just said, like, listen, you can just uh, keep up with it. No, go home. Go home. Oh, my gosh. Um, everyone needs to pee. This is just a disaster. Uh, but yeah, I think, like I said, Olivia has been keeping up with her schoolwork at home. A lot of her professors trust her and they're just like, listen, we'll just email you the assignments and you can just get them done. So she's been just keeping up at home and I don't think she really has any plans to come back right now. I think she just is waiting for Landon to come around and hopefully he will understand like how he screwed up and uh, she still loves him, uh, but she just doesn't want to talk to him right now. Uh, so anyway, so Charlotte's just going to be like, okay, bye, Olivia. Thank you so much for coming. All right. <laughs> Anyways, I think Olivia's just like, listen, I got to go home. So I think Charlotte's just going to be like, okay, girl, I totally get that. Bye-bye. Um, and then I think Olivia, I mean, I think Charlotte's going to head home as well. All right, you guys, so we are back at the Chen's. It's the next morning. I just kind of took care of their needs, made sure everyone like took a bath and went to sleep. Um, and then Erin called uh, Landon this morning and she's just uh, she just asked him if she could uh, meet him at the coffee shop, at the local coffee shop. 
uh, she, just before work. Uh, she needed she needs to go into the office today, so she just asked if Landon would meet her for coffee so that they can talk. And Landon um, is the nice guy that he is. Is like, okay, yeah, let's go meet. And plus, you know, his son and everything. He just wants to stay in constant communication with Aaron about his son um, because he lost his dad at a very young age uh, he just does not want to be an absent father for his son it's just not something he wants to do he wants to be in his life uh, and he wants to make sure Graham has both uh, parents because like I said he lost his mom and dad um, you know at a very young age so I think he would just really step up to the plate and want to be a part of Graham's life uh, so yeah, so so he said, yep, I will come meet you, Aaron. Uh, so we are going to go ahead and head to the coffee shop and meet Aaron for coffee. All right, you guys. So we are at the coffee shop with Aaron and uh, Landon and Aaron are talking. And I think she's just saying to him, listen, Landon, I really like you to be in Graham's life a little bit more. And I was just hoping that some weekends you may take Graham um, for like a night or something uh, just so that I can either have a little bit of me time because it's just basically been Aaron um, since. But yeah, so I think... Aaron would just be like, it's just been basically me his whole uh, life as a child, uh, his whole life as a toddler, and I just would like some me time because if anything I can relate to Aaron about is mom life, it's hard, and single mom life, I can't even imagine that, like... Oh, right, you guys, I'm so sorry about that. So, Landon actually had uh, class at like 9 30 in the morning so he just bounced and um and then I don't know my game was being super laggy over at the uh, coffee shop so now we're back at the chens but what I was uh saying was that Aaron um basically Aaron just asked uh Landon if uh, there were going to be some nights on the weekends if he could take a gram for her uh, because she has been a single mom for so long. She doesn't really have the help of her parents because she has so many siblings and they're just too busy uh, to really um, help because, you know, they have little ones at home as well. So uh, she just basically asked him if, uh, you know, if he could take Graham for maybe a night. And she knows that uh, Lydia will be around. She's already talked to Lydia and just said, hey, like, can you be around when Graham comes over? Because Lydia is like super reliable. And so she totally trusts, you know, uh, Graham being here. But what that means is I think what we'll do is down in um, the ba oh, actually, yeah, I think we'll turn Malcolm's room into kind of a little room for uh, Graham because Malcolm doesn't really stay at the townhome with uh, Landon anymore. So I think what we'll do is uh, just turn Malcolm's room here into just a little toddler room. So Graham has somewhere to go when he comes over and stays with Landon. I think that will be really nice um, and really nice gesture that Landon did. So we will do that for the next part. Uh, but yeah, so he uh, he is going to be taking care of Graham at least one night a week on the weekend, maybe like Friday night into Saturday. So that'll be exciting for him. Uh, he can kind of hang out with Graham. And like I said, he always <laughs> depends on Lydia for everything. So I think, you know, Lydia is just the mother of the sibling. So I think she would totally take that role and be like, of course, I will help you later. When he comes over, we'll play games. We'll have so much fun. Uh, and she's probably going to go to the store with Landon and buy a bunch of toys for Graham because she probably knows exactly what you know is appropriate for uh, Graham's age and everything so yeah so that's so exciting and um that way there Erin can just kind of have some alone time to herself uh like I said being a mom myself I I totally understand uh where Erin is coming from being a single mom I can't even imagine that so I think yeah I think that's really nice that Landon um is going to step in all right, you guys, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and end the part right here. Uh, we had a pretty great part. Charlotte caught up with Olivia at uh, Pepper's Pub, uh, and then Landon went out with Aaron for a cup of coffee, and he will be taking Graham for uh, one night a week, which is really exciting. We're going to turn Malcolm's room into a little room for Graham, so that way there uh, Graham has somewhere comfortable when he comes over. And yeah, so this is so exciting, you guys, and 
uh, I really hope that Landon fixed things with Olivia. Uh, we'll see what happens with that. Time will tell. But anyways, you guys, like I said, I'm going to end the part right here. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And I will talk to you all in the next video.